All right, on page 26 today, in the middle of the page, there's a key concept that says distance formula. And you're going to want to get this formula into your notes, please. And this is the formula that you're going to use to find the distance between two points, whether you're just given the coordinates of the points or if you are given the points on the coordinate plane. So the distance formula. Big square root symbol. And then we've got x sub 2 minus x sub 1. squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So that's the difference of your x coordinates squared plus the difference of your y coordinates squared all underneath the square root symbol. So if you're asked to find the distance between point C that's at negative 4, negative 6, and D which is at 5, negative 1, here's the steps that you want to follow to find that distance. The first thing I would suggest that you do is you label these points. And here's what I mean. You take point C. The first value in the parentheses is, the, is an x value. So we call this x sub 1. And the negative 6 is a y value for point C. So we call it y sub 1. And then for the x and y values at point D, we're going to label those x sub 2 and y sub 2. <clears throat> and then you're going to take these values that you just labeled, and you're going to substitute them into this distance formula where the corresponding variables are. So if we have to find the distance from C to D, it's going to be equal to big square root. We've got x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Well, our x sub 2 is 5 minus our x sub 1, which is negative 4, squared plus our y sub 2 minus our y sub 1. Our y sub 2 is the negative 1 minus the y sub 1, which is negative 6, in parentheses and squared. Now, I would suggest that you do this step next in your calculator. <clears throat> You can take 5 minus negative 4 and square it. And that's 81. Plus negative 1 minus negative 6 squared. which is 25. And then what you can do is add those two values together, add them in your calculator. So the 25 is still sitting on my calculator. So I'm going to push plus 81. I'm going to hit equals. I've got 106 
All right, and now the button on your calculator, two above the nine, it looks like this. It's got the square root symbol, and it's got an X under it. While the 106 is sitting on your screen, just push that button and hit equals, and I get 10.3. Everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do one more. All right, let's find the distance from E. E is at negative 5, 6. F is at 8, negative 4. All right, so first step. We're going to take these coordinates and we're going to label them. We've got an x sub 1 and a y sub 1. For point f, we have an x sub 2 and a y sub 2. So we're going to substitute now. So we're going to say that e to f is equal to Big square root symbol. X sub 2 minus X sub 1. So 8 minus negative 5 squared plus our Y sub 2, which is negative 4, minus the Y sub 1, which is 6. And we got to square that. So we take 8 minus negative 5, and then you can push the x squared button on your calculator. It looks like this. If I take 8 minus negative 5 on my calculator, I get 13. There's a 13 sitting on my display. And if I push the x squared button, which is 2 above the 8, it gives me 169. We're going to add that to, now back to your calculator, negative 4 minus 6. So if you're using the TI30XA, you push 4 and then the negative button, which is below the 3, minus 6. I get negative 10 on the screen, and I push the X squared button, and I get 100. So now that 100 is still sitting on my calculator. And when you add or multiply, order doesn't matter. So I'm going to add the 100 to the 169 by pushing plus 169 and hitting equals. And I get square root of 269. And then I'm going to push, again, this is called the square root button. It takes the square root of whatever's on your screen, and I get 16.4. So our distance from point E to point F is 16.4 units. If you were on a coordinate plane and your unit measure was in feet, then 16.4 feet.
centimeters, millimeters, whatever your unit measure is. All right, this is 16.4 units. All right, so everybody good with finding the distance between two points? Okay, you're always going to be given the coordinates. If not, if you're not just given the coordinates, then you will be given a coordinate plane that you can pull the coordinates from. All right, so here's your practice for today. Page 30. Problems three through six. All right, I'm not giving you very many problems to do today, so if you get those finished while you're in class, you can start working in the Alex app. All right, this week's schedule is going to be notes today and tomorrow, study guide on Thursday. Your quiz is going to be on Friday this week. So you've got a four-day week this week, but you still have to learn your 10 topics in Alex. So use your class time appropriately, all right?